Good morning and thank you for joining us for another edition of Off the Press, the program where we look at the papers and try to get a better understanding of the meaning behind the headlines. I have joining me for today's review, Oji Ifi Oji. She is a policy analyst. Thank you for joining us. And we also have uh, Dr. Femi Adegoke uh, joining us virtually as well. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. We start with a punch newspaper this morning. Uh, the big one here is PSN disagrees with NAVDAC, PTF, on search for local COVID-19 cure. FG ignores antiviral drugs by NIPRD. Others say pharmacists. Nobody is seeking approval for COVID-19 drug. That's NAPDAC speaking. I actually read a bit of that story early this morning, and it's, um, it's quite disorienting, to be honest. Let's see at the top, and then we'll get to our guests to help us understand it a little better in a bit. Dubai returnees protest opposed general testing by Lagos. Uh, we also have APC Tinubu Govs, Hail Gambari as Buhari unveils a new chief of staff. FG adjusts budget to 10.52 trillion naira, adopts 25 naira dollar oil benchmark. That's some of the headlines on your screen right now. Underneath it, uh, you will see a picture of the situation in Lagos. The traffic doesn't seem to have changed much. People are still out and about. Um, Shage panel fallen or fault Supreme Court judgment on Oji Kalu. Uh, gunman kidnap army officer, three others in Ondo. We also have money collected from aspirants, not bribes, Ondo APC group. Lady and gentlemen, the big headline this morning is uh, PSN disagree with NAPTAC PTF um, on search for local COVID-19 cure. What's your take on the controversy being generated? The pharmacy is saying there are no priorities. And then NAPTAC is saying we don't have anybody that's actually come up to show us that they have a cure. We only have one request that is about treating the symptoms of COVID-19 and not curing COVID-19. What's your take? Um, I just think that uh, right now, just based on the situation that uh, is before us, that there's bound to be a lot of uh, emotions attached to um, decision-making at the moment. Health issues have not traditionally been a, 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 an avenue for making the best decisions in Nigeria. We, I mean, just last year or the year before that, we we're only spending two naira per per, um, per capita or per person in Nigeria. So you can imagine that anything to try and ex accelerate uh, any kind of medical breakthrough will always be looked at with a lot of criticism and uh, deconstruction. Okay, uh, the Dubai returnees um, on the front page of the punch as well, they're opposing general testing. Um, what concerns you about this kind of protests? I think it is, I, I actually think that we are basically, as, as our doctor would say, it's, uh, we are the architects of our own misfortune. Uh, as at April 30th this year, we, there was at least, uh, for every six, for every 100,000 100, Nigerians, only six were tested. And and over the course of the last uh, three months or this quarter, since the uh, scourge of COVID, it has been well documented that one of the ways of ameliorating the situation is to ensure that uh, there is testing, especially... Okay, I think there is um, a network issue, but let's see. Uh, let's uh, move on to another paper and, um, while we uh, reconnect with Ifi. I'll go now to this day newspaper. Uh, the big one here is Buhari upends politics. Gambari pledges loyalty as new chief of staff. That's the big one on the front page this morning. Just beneath the masthead, you're looking at it right now. Okay, we'll flip away to the big one. Buhari upends politics. Uh, Gambari he pledges loyalty as new chief of staff at Tiku Saraki, Tinubu, APC, Garbs, Hale appointment. All right, let's flip back to that part where we were before, uh, where we have COVID-19 vaccine. No one has applied for approval, says NAPDAG. FG sends fresh teams to Lagos, Kanu. 
184 new cases, six deaths bring tally to 4,971 with 1,070 discharged. The country has sadly recorded 164 deaths from the virus. We're hoping that um, we can still contain this. Uh, we see efforts. And of course, uh, my two cents this morning on the issue of safety is for us to follow basic uh, hygiene. Okay, still on the front page is NLNG signs £7 billion train seven contracts with Sapiem and others. That's on the front page. Uh, page six is where you find it. Fact trims 2020 budget by 71 billion naira to 10.523 trillion naira. Slashes oil price benchmark to $25 per barrel. Targets 1.94 million barrels uh, per day of crude production. Uh, Ify, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Felicity. I was just going to round off what I was saying because I was trying Go to ahead. make a, a valid point, especially regarding uh, the protests by the Dubai returnees. Um, I was just in the middle of mentioning that out of every 100,000 Nigerians, only six were tested in Nigeria as at um, uh, April 30th. And this is in stark contrast to what you are seeing in countries like South Africa and Ghana, you know, where about 56% of the entire um, testing has been done specifically uh, in those two countries. And what is even more uh, staggering is the fact that from the 14, from, sorry, sorry to cut, sorry, sorry then, for, for, and out of the, the, the ones that have been tested, that only 14%, uh, 14% have actually come to, um, turned up uh, to read a positive diagnosis for COVID. So uh, it, it, it boggles the mind that there will be any kind of protest, knowing full well the importance of testing. Uh, even the layman in the street knows that it's important to test and, and how much in this particular circumstance that information is power. Uh, could it perhaps be about the uh, seeming uh, growing stigmatization of testing positive? Well, I mean, it's just going to be what it is. I don't think I, I don't think it's more. It's, it's less about the end user, or rather, the typ typical uh, patient, or 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 um, from from that point of view. It's more from the testing point of view. We have found that there have been, in many cases, shortages for the reagents for testing. There have been reports of um, lack of um, lack of. Um, of uh, testing kits, and that where they have found to be testing kits, we are fully at the mercy of countries that have those kind of uh, the, the, those um, the, the, the kits at their disposal. So we ha we have to ask ourselves: Why is Ghana getting higher uh, testing uh, rem rem ratio to Nigeria? Why is it that South Africa is 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 at a better position in terms of pinpointing how to? Um, how to basically how to how to uh, limit uh, the scourge of COVID to where we are in Nigeria? Okay, um, let's um, take a look at this day. Actually, highlighted some of the headlines uh, why we're having issues with the connection. One of the issues um, I mentioned it on the Punch newspaper as well is the trimming of the budget uh, from to ten point five to three trillion naira and the benchmark is now a uh, 25 dollar uh, oil price uh, per barrel the business day this morning has COVID-19 expectedly on the front page with a big one. COVID-19 worsens manufacturers' fate as fear of factory shutdowns grow. Uh, it has rider concerns rise over bank takeover. There's a news analysis on the sidebar. You see all eyes on Gambari, gatekeeping versus service to fatherland. That's another one for you on the front page. And inside the paper, you will see uh, something on Nigeria sets ambitious 1.9 million barrels oil production um, on revised MTEF. Okay, uh, Lagos leverage five years biosecurity roadmap and COVID-19 fight. Those are some of the headlines. And of course, the business figures um, at the top of uh, the market uh, monitoring um, on the top of the paper. Uh, Ify, um, I understand I have you uh, reconnected. 
apologies for the network this morning. Go ahead. Um, we're trying to get your um, gauge your uh, response to the uh, right. slash in budget. Yeah, so, so, so to the, the slash in budget is actually very, at, the, at the crux of the matter in terms of our award for the rapid financial instrument from um, the International Mon Monetary Fund. So one of the crucial reasons that we're given this money is because of the uh, economic recovery and growth um, plan. And under that plan, one of the main uh, drivers is that we, and, and one of the main aims was for us to get to a position where we are stabilized from a, a, a macroeconomic uh, environment in Nigeria is stabilized. And one of the things they had promised in initial plan, don't forget, this plan was written in 2017, was that they're going to slash budgets. Whether this has been done is, uh, whether we are seeing the uh, impact or the effect of that, only time will tell. But right now, as it stands, the best way we can move forward is to make sure those budgets are slashed in line with the economic recovery and um, recovery growth plan as promised by Nigeria to the um, to IMF. All right, uh, Business Day has this story about the COVID-19 worsening manufacturers' fate as uh, fears that uh, factories will shut down grows. There are also concerns uh, over rise um, 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 bank takeover, basically, on the front page on your screen right now. Um, if you want your take on oh, this fear, it is valid, of course, but um, is it reasonable um, in a business setting? So uh, we have to always look at it from um, both people, both uh, people, um, peer persons' perspective. So on one hand, you have the manufacturers and the small businesses that are crying out. They are literally at their last uh, step in terms of what to do to try and put their businesses together. And on the other hand, you have the main uh, captains of the health uh, sector in Nigeria who understand the nature of this virus. Even though we don't have a cure, they understand the the, uh, the effect it could have on a long-term basis if we're not able to uh, curb it at the moment. So you have to feel for the um, typical manufacturers, you know, and all the and all the other small businesses who are taking a real a real hit um, hitting at the moment. So what what is best for Nigeria right now is to try and find a middle ground in terms of ensuring that at some level, even if it's not at full capacity, these industries are able to um, function. And then also at uh, at 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 the at the national level, we're able to do, make put all the policies and key measures in place to ensure that this disease is gotten rid of finally. All right, let's take a quick look at the Guardian newspaper and what the headlines are. Expectedly, it has something to do with Gambari as chief of staff. Uh, why Buhari appointed Gambari as chief of staff? That's it on your screen. Uh, Tinubu Songulu, others optimistic on governance. We have CUPP urges caution over appointment. Just for next those photographs, you see how low testing capacity others feel test kits black market. Uh, that's uh, something worth reading um, if you're interested in what's going on right now. Uh, why government has not approved anyone by NCDC. Navdag explains stand on cure claims uh, for COVID-19. Um, Ify, Ify, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly, Felicity. I'm okay. sorry the line has been a bit uh, choppy. Yeah, it's been a lot of trouble this morning. But uh, now that we have you, I need to get your thoughts on NAVDAC, basically, uh, their responses to the requests so far. They are saying, uh, we've been hearing people, Professor Maurice Iwu, among others, have come up to say that they have cures for COVID-19. But now, NAVDAC is saying they haven't had any official communication on these. That it's only on mainstream media or on social media. They've only had one and this one is not for a cure but for the symptom to treat the symptom of COVID-19. What's your take on all of this? Felicity, I think we have to take a little bit of caution in terms of how we treat the uh, inform information that, that is uh, disseminated generally uh, because of the high level of emotions running through. As I mentioned earlier based on this particular issue that I think that we should ensure that um, <laughs> We should ensure that we are at uh, 
we are all in agreement in terms of how we're going to move forward. And I think that most people are, it's more or less a hope more than actually finding uh, lasting solutions at the moment. And I don't see why um, NAFTAC will make up this story at all. I think if there are genuine, uh, uh, if there are genuine um, cures or genuine uh, breakthroughs in science or medicine, that these would have definitely have come forward and sought uh, NAFTAC approval. And, and uh, even though there has been, on the other hand, there's been criticism from Na um, of NAFTAC, of, their, uh, of the red tape that it takes to actually scale through their standards. So we have to just weigh this, and only time will tell what will uh, come out of or emanate from this. Ify, thank you very much for your time and your patience with the network as we are. Thank you so much. Yes, th thanks a lot, Felicity. Much appreciated. Same here. And that's it for the newspaper review this morning. It returns same time tomorrow bright and early. I hope you can join us then and I do hope that the network will be uh, better uh, with us uh, when it comes to uh, guest analysis. Thanks again. My name is Felicity Ezewike. Remember to stay safe.